taking your hands to your thighs or your knees, wherever is most comfortable for you, turning your palms up towards the ceiling, closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable, taking a few deep, full breaths here. Taking time in this seated position to set your intentions for today's class. Breathing in fully, inflating through the lower abdomen right up into the chest. As you exhale, in, inflating from your chest all the way down to your lower abdomen, drawing your navel in towards your spine. Couple more deep, full breaths here. Taking your hands down to your right side, planting them down roughly shoulders width apart, lifting up into tabletop position. Keeping your shoulders squared over your wrists, hips directly above your knees. Inhale, taking your gaze up as you drop your belly towards the floor, coming into cow pose. Exhale, rounding the spine, tucking your chin towards your chest, coming into cat. Inhale, dropping your belly to the floor, taking your gaze up and overhead for cow pose. Exhale, slowly rounding through the spine, tucking your chin towards your chest for cat. Just continuing with your own breath now, moving between cow and cat pose, gradually warming up the spine for today's session. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable. Couple more breaths here in this move dynamic pose. And next inhale, pressing up into a plank position. From here we're going to exhale, pressing back into downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, I'd like you to walk out the legs a bit here. Paddling them, warming them up, getting a stretch through your hamstrings. Inhale, stepping the feet forward to fold forward, to relaxing through the back of the neck, keeping a slight bend in your knees if you need to at this point. Inhale, sweeping the arms out wide, coming all the way up for the sasana, overhead hands for an upward salute. Exhaling as you bring your hands to heart centre. Take your hands down by your sides. We're going to do begin our sun salutation series to further our warm up. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead for urban sasana, upward salute. And exhale, roll it forward to relax it through the back of the neck, pulling your weight over into your toes. Inhaling, coming up for a halfway lift, looking forward. Exhaling, to plant the hands, stepping back into your plank. Draw yeah, the elbows in, pressing down through Chaturanga into upward facing dog. Drawing the hands back slightly as you push forward with your chest looking forward. Remembering that if up dog is not available to you, 
can come up into low cobra, resting the tops of your thighs on the mat. Exhale, pressing back into down facing dog. Taking three full breaths here. Keeping your gaze towards your navel as you draw your heels down towards the mat. In stepping the feet forward to meet the hands, falling forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhaling, just sweep the arms out wide, coming all the way up, open the satsana, upward salute. Exhaling, plant the hands at heart centre. Taking the hands down by your sides, starting in mountain pose once more. We're going to repeat our sun salutation twice more, just flowing through. One full breath in each pose, other than up dog and down dog, where we're going to hold for three full breaths. Inhaling as you take your hands up and overhead. Exhaling, hold forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhaling for a halfway lift, looking forwards. Exhaling to plant the hands. Stepping your feet back, come into your plank. Inhaling as you draw yourself down through Chaturanga and into upward facing dog. Shoulders drawn down away from the ears as you gaze forward. Keeping the fingers spread wide on your hands to help support the wrists in this pose. If up dog is not available to you, remember you can lower down into low cobra. Exhale, pressing back into downward facing dog, holding here for three full breaths, keeping your gaze towards the navel. Inhale, stepping the feet forward, relaxing through the back of the neck as you fold forwards. Coming up on inhale for a halfway lift, looking forwards. Exhaling as you fold forwards once more, rolling your weight over into your toes. Inhale as you sweep your arms out wide, all the way up and overhead, over the hastasana for an upward salute. Exhale as you bring your hands to heart centre. Repeating once more. Inhale as you sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale as you fold your hands. Falling forwards, coming down into a forward fold, relaxing through the back of the neck. Remembering not to look forward in this pose to prevent a kinked neck. Mm -hmm. Inhale as you come up for a halfway lift, looking forward. Exhaling as you put your hands, stepping back into your plank. Throwing your elbows in as you press down through mm -hmm. the chaturanga. Into upward facing dog. Looking forward, shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Fingers spread wide to support your wrists. Open down the eyes if you feel comfortable here. Exhale to press back into downward facing dog, taking your gaze towards your navel. Throwing the heels down towards the mat. Couple more breaths here in this pose.
inhale, stepping or jumping feet forward to meet the hands as you fall forward to relax through the back of the neck. Inhale, as you sweep the arms all the way up, out and up and overhead for urban sasana. Exhaling as you bring your hands to heart centre. Standing with your eyes closed, feet roughly, hips width apart. Take a couple of moments here with your hands at heart centre. To remember the intentions you've set for today's class and recollect your breath. And feel how it's moving through your body. Inhale, dropping your hands down by the sides, palms facing towards the front of your mat as you sweep your arms up and overhead. Urban the sasana. Exhale as you fold forward, relaxing through the back of the neck, coming down into a forward fold. Just grasping onto your elbows here to help draw yourself further down into this fold. Relaxing so that your abdomen is coming to the upper thighs as much as possible. Keeping a slight bend in your knees if you need. Just holding here in this forward fold a few moments as we begin our standing series. Inhale, coming up slightly for a halfway lift. Looking forwards, keeping a straight back as you can. Exhale, folding forwards, planting the hands, stepping back into a plank. From here, I'd like to press back into counter facing dog this time. Take a couple of deep, full breaths here. Inhale, raise the right leg towards the ceiling, opening it at the hip slightly to come into three legged dog. Remembering to keep your gaze towards your navel. Inhale as you straighten the leg all the way towards the ceiling once more before stepping it through to meet the hands coming into a high lunge. Keeping the feet hips width apart for stability, I want you to inhale, sweeping the arms up and overhead for present pose. Engaging through the back leg for stability, keeping the left heel raised and off the floor. Exhale, turning the back foot out now on a 45 degree angle, bringing the hands down to eye level, sinking down into the hips to keep that bend in the forward knee for warrior two. Taking a couple of moments here in this pose to really feel its power. Tucking the tailbone under, lifting up out of the hips as you inhale. Straightening the forward leg now, I'd like you to sweep the arms up and overhead for a wide legged forward fold, upward salute me. Exhale, coming back down into warrior two. Moving dynamically with each inhale and exhale, we're going to inhale up into our wide-legged upward salute, exhaling back into our warrior two. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable moving between these poses, focusing on how your inhale is moving to a big body and how each exhale is removing any of our toxins, casting away any negative energies. Focusing each inhale and fighting any of the muscles that are straining against you right now, particularly in your shoulders as we move. On your next exhale, just holding in warrior two for a couple of moments. From here, I'd like you to exhale, folding down into triangle pose, either resting your elbow on your knee or extending the hand all the way through towards the floor to come into full triangle pose. 
slowly come into this pose as far as comfortable for you. Taking a couple of moments here in this pose. Here you really should feel your breath in the outermost exposed edge of your rib cage. Exhale, coming back through warrior two and into peaceful warrior. Couple of deep, full breaths here in this pose. Inhale, speaking arms up and overhead, feet together, open the up now. Exhale, you to bring your hands to heart center. Taking our hands down by our sides as we begin our opposite side now. And inhaling as we sweep our hands out wide, up and overhead, open up the stars now. Exhaling as we fold forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhaling to lift up for a halfway lift, looking forwards, keeping that straight back. Exhaling as we fold forwards, planting our hands, stepping back into our plank. From here, pressing all the way back to our general facing dog. Taking a couple of deep, full breaths here. Inhaling as we raise our left leg now towards the ceiling, opening it at the hip slightly to come into three legged dog. Keeping the gaze towards your navel. Inhale, stretching the leg all the way towards the ceiling once more before stepping the foot all the way through to meet the hands coming up into our high lunge. Keeping our feet lift with the part for stability. Inhaling, sweep the arms up and overhead, coming into present pose. Drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears as we open up through our chest. Keeping our right heel off of the mat. Exhaling now as we turn our back foot out at a 45 degree angle, coming down into warrior two. Taking our crown on and under. Shoulders drawn down and away from our ears, our gaze is over our left hand. Inhale as we straighten our forward leg, sweeping the arms up and overhead for a wide legged upward salute. Exhaling as we come back down into warrior two. Repeating this motion with our own breath now, inhaling up and up for an upward salute. Exhaling as we come back down into warrior two. With your own breath now, continuing with this dynamic motion, focusing on lengthening through inhale and exhale. On your next exhale, just holding in that warrior two for a few moments, collecting yourself in this pose, finding your breath once more before we move on to the next pose.
Exhaling now, back your fold forwards, coming down into triangle. Either bringing your elbow to your knee or coming all the way down to bring your hand towards the mat. Keeping your gaze towards your overhead hand. A couple more breaths in this pose. Breathing fully and deeply into the outermost exposed edge of your rib cage. Exhale, coming slowly back through warrior two and into peaceful warrior. Relaxing the bend in your forward leg slightly. Inhale, stepping feet together, hands up and overhead for an upward salute. Exhale, as you bring your hands to heart center. Taking our hands down by our side for mountain pose. We are going to inhale, sweeping with arms up and overhead. Stepping back. With our left leg, we are going to come up into present pose once more. From here, I'd like to hold forwards, bringing your hands down to the mat. Keep it, bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot, coming into lizard pose. If you need to, you can drop your left knee to the mat to come into a modified version of lizard pose, otherwise engaging all of the way through to help support you in full lizard pose. If you wish to deepen the stretch through your hamstrings and your hips, you can lower your elbows down towards the mat. In this pose, keep your gaze down towards the top of your mat so as not to create a kink in the back of your neck. Holding this pose for a few more full breaths. And exhale, stepping the right foot back, coming into downward facing dog. From here, raising the left leg towards the ceiling, inhaling as you step it all the way through to meet the hands, bringing the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Those on the opposite side, remembering to drop your right knee to the mat for extra support in this pose if you need, otherwise engaging through the thighs, holding full lizard pose. Focusing each breath on opening up through the hips. Couple more full breaths here in this pose. Exhale, stepping the foot back to meet the other, coming back into downward facing dog. 
Just holding in downward facing dog for a couple more full breaths. Inhale, stepping the feet together, folding forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale, sweeping the arms all the way out wide, over the salsana for an upward salute. Exhaling as you bring your hands to heart centre. Coming into the middle of your mat now, I'd like you to take your feet out wide, turning your toes inwards towards the centre of your mat. Bringing your hands up to the floor a little, lifting up out of the hips on inhale. Folding forwards gently, coming down only as far as comfortable for you. Bringing your hands to your lower calves or whatever is most comfortable for you as you come into a wide-legged forward fold. Drawing your forehead down towards the floor. Rolling your weight slightly over into your toes. Inhale, coming up for a halfway lift, looking forward with a straight back. Drawing your feet in slightly, keeping the toes turned towards the centre. I'd like you to turn around now to your right side, drawing your forehead down towards your right knee. Couple more breaths here in this pose. Inhaling as you come back through centre for a halfway lift and round to the left. Turn your forehead down to your left knee this time. Inhaling back through centre, hinging from the hips as you come all the way up, drawing your feet in to shoulder width apart. From here, I want you to take a couple of moments in mountain pose to recollect your breath as we prepare to find our, our balance in our balancing poses today. Inhaling to ground down through the right. Leg as you bring your left foot with your lower calf or right thigh, wherever is most comfortable for you as you bring your hands to heart centre. For tree pose, one side of your brain at this moment may not be as balanced as the other, so don't worry if you keep falling out of this pose, just come back in within your own time. So the whole purpose of this is to find that balance to create it. Exhale, slowly releasing, giving both the legs a shake out. Grounding down now through the left leg, bringing our right foot to our lower calf or thigh, wherever is most comfortable for you. Squaring the hips front and centre. 
as you bring your hands to heart centre, repeating on the opposite side. Finding a focal point in the room in front of you to help hold you in this pose. Couple more moments in this pose. Exhaling to release. Keeping our feet shoulder width apart. From here, we're going to inhale, sweeping the arms up and overhead, coming down into our chair pose. If you wish to, you can bring your hands to your elbows to hold, help keep your elbows up near your ears, otherwise extending the hands all of the way out. Coming down deeper into this pose with each inhale as you can. Exhale, slowly releasing, bringing your hands to heart centre. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and overhead, coming back into our chair pose once more. A couple of deep, full breaths here in this pose. Exhale, slowly to stand with your hands once more at heart centre. Keeping the hands at heart centre, we're going to come back down into chair pose. This time we're going to twist to the right, bringing our left elbow down towards our right knee. Just holding here in this twist, Feeling each inhale massaging through our lower abdomen as we breathe. And exhale, slowly unwinding, coming to stand with our hands at heart centre once more. Inhaling as we come back down into our chair pose, twisting around to the left this time bringing our right elbow towards our left knee. Inhale, coming all the way up once more, standing with our hands at the heart centre. Coming down now onto our mat. I'd like you to extend your legs all the way out in front of you, toes drawn back towards you. Lift up out of the hips. Breathing deeply up and into the chest. Start pose, closing down your eyes if you feel comfortable. Taking a couple of deep. Full breaths here. Inhale, I would like you to fold forwards now, reaching for your toes or lower calf muscles, wherever is most comfortable for you. As you fold forward, relaxing your forehead down towards your knees, bringing your abdomen down towards your upper thighs. Seeing if you can go a little bit deeper with each inhale. Getting that nice juicy stretch through the hamstrings. Just taking a few deep, full breaths here to close out this pose.
Exhale, slowly releasing, sweeping the hands back, the one behind you, coming back into staff pose once more. Just opening up through the chest as you draw your toes back towards you. Inhale, drawing the right towards your chest. I'd like you, we'd like you to place the right foot on the outside of the left leg. Twisting around towards your right now, taking the right hand behind you, either placing your right left hand on the outside of your right knee or elbow on the right side of the back, like knee, to help draw you deep into this pose. Keeping the toes of the left foot drawn back towards you. Just closing down your eyes in this pose. Help focus your inhale and opening up through the chest with each inhale, as well as massaging all of those lower abdomen organs where the twist is taking place. Exhale, slowly unwinding, giving the legs a little shake out before switching them over, bringing the Left foot to the outside of the right leg. Remembering to draw your right toes back towards you. Lifting up out of the hips as you inhale, twisting around now to the left. Supporting yourself in this pose by bringing your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Once again, closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable. Exhaling to release, giving the legs a little shake out. I'd like you to come down onto your backs now, just lying with your feet firmly planted. Just rock the knees slightly from side to side for a few moments, loosen through the lower back. Planting the palms down by your sides, feet planted firmly into the mat. Be going to inhale, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling, coming into bridge pose, clasping the hands underneath us for extra support. Chin to chest as you look up and over your navel. Lifting the hips higher with each inhale. Trying not to let the knees sway out or fall in. Exhale, slowly lowering the knee, the hips back down, hands to beside you. Keeping the eyes closed here if you can, turning the mind's eye inward. Inhaling once more as you lift your hips towards the ceiling, coming up into bridge pose once again, rolling the shoulders under as you clasp your hands behind your back for extra support. Exhale, slowly lowering the hips back down to the floor. Straightening the legs out, keeping the legs, feet firmly together. Hands down by the side. We're going to inhale, coming up into a modified version of boat pose, just holding with our knees bent and the hands out by our, up by our knees. Engaging through our core muscles, holding us here. Exhale, slowly lowering our feet and hands back down to the mat. Inhale, and this time either coming up into the modified version of boat 
or extending your legs all the way out, coming into full boat pose. Taking a couple of deep, full breaths here in this pose, engaging through your core, holding you up. From here, I'd like you to rock forwards, drawing your knees into your chest, taking your gaze down towards your knees, taking a couple of deep, full breaths, feeling how your inhale is moving against your thighs. From here, dropping back into your version of boat pose, whether that be the modified version with your knees bent, or extending the leg all the way out. And exhale, slowly lowering down onto the mat. From here, I'd like you to roll over through your right side and onto your stomach. Keeping your hands by your shoulders. We're going to inhale, locking our legs together, pressing up and out of our hands into a low cobra. Looking forwards, shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Exhale, coming back down onto our mats. Left ear to the floor. Keeping our hands by our sides, keeping our feet locked together. We're going to inhale, pulling our hands back slightly as we press up once more into the low cobra. Exhaling, slowly lower down to the mat, bringing our right ear to the floor. Sweeping your hand back down by your sides, thumbs pointing down to the mat. We're going to inhale, locking the legs together, coming up into locust pose, looking forward. Exhale, lowering down onto the mat, right, uh, left ear to the floor, bringing your thumbs down to the mat. Inhaling as you lift up out of the chest, arms and legs, coming up into locust once more. Exhaling as you lower down. Bringing your hands back by your shoulders, I'd like you to tuck your toes under, pressing back into downward facing dog. Gaze towards your navel, inhaling, you to raise the right leg towards the ceiling, drawing the knee in towards the chest as you bring it all the way through to meet the hands, coming into active pigeon. Lifting up out of the hips. Exhaling as you fold forwards, coming down into sleeping pigeon, either bringing your elbows to the mat or extending the hands all of the way out and bringing your forehead to the mat. Taking a couple of deep, full breaths here in the pose. Focusing each inhale and opening up through the hips. We spend a lot of time sitting down. This is a great pose to relieve tension from our lower back and hips. Three more deep, full breaths in this pose. Focusing each inhale on opening up through the right hip. Inhale, bring hands in both sides as you push up through active pigeon, turning the toes of your left foot under as you press back into downward facing dog. Just taking a moment to shake out the legs, 
as you allow the blood to flow freely through the right leg. Inhaling as you raise your left leg towards the ceiling. Exhale, drawing the knee all the way in through to the chest as you bring it forward to meet the hands. Lifting up on inhale, coming into active pigeon on the opposite side. Exhaling as you fold forwards, coming down into sleeping pigeon, only coming down as far as comfortable for you. So whether that's just to the elbows or if you extend the hands all the way out, bringing the forehead down to the mat. Wherever you find your I implore you to take the time in this pose to focus each inhale and opening up through the hips. Taking a few more deep, full breaths in this pose. Inhaling as you lift up out of the hips, coming up through active pigeon, turning the toes of your back foot under, pressing all the way back into downward facing dog, giving the legs a shake out. Exhaling from here to fold forwards, coming down into extended child's pose. Feeling your breath against your upper thighs. Inhale, lifting the hips slightly to come into a partial tabletop position. Taking your right hand all the way out in front of you. Tenting the fingers, I'd like you to take your left hand, sweeping it all the way and under for an upper thoracic spinal twist. Bringing your forehead down to the mat, keeping your hips raised to the ceiling. Exhale, slowly releasing, switching the forward hand over, bringing the left hand out in front of you, tenting the fingers, taking the right hand out by the side, sweeping it under, coming into your upper thoracic twist. The opposite. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable in this pose. A couple more full breaths here. Exhale and release. Turning it over now onto your back. Drawing your knees in towards your chest, coming into egg pose. I'd like you to take the chin towards your chest to help elongate through your spine. Just rock slightly from side to side, getting a loosening through the lower back. From there, inhaling as you lift your Feet towards the ceiling, toes drawn back towards you. As we cool down from today's session.
Exhale, slowly bring your knees down towards your chest once more. From here, I would like you to take your hands out, wide palms facing down. Inhaling as you lift, your legs fall over to the left and your gaze towards the right. Either keeping your knees drawn in or if you wish to, you can extend the legs all the way out to deepen the stretch. Inhale, coming back through centre, taking the legs over to the right and the gaze to the left. Just for a gentle superman twist. Beginning to close down the eyes. Inhaling once more, drawing the legs into center, taking the legs over to the left and our gaze towards the right. Inhaling to draw the legs back to center. Switching them over to the right one last time, gazing to the left, sending the legs out if you wish to deepen the stretch. Okay, inhaling as you draw your legs into centre. From here, just holding them in moment in egg pose, rocking them slightly to massage through our lower abdomen. Exhale, slowly lowering out the right leg, taking it max width apart. Exhale, slowly lowering the left leg, tucking your chin towards your chest slightly as you take your feet and hands out. Wider than max width apart, just letting the legs fall out, letting the muscles of the arms relax. Softening through the muscles of your face. Just one by one, softening your muscles into the floor. So much so that you feel yourself becoming one with the floor. Closing down the eyes, turning your mind's eye inward. Focusing solely on how the breath is moving throughout your body. Ignoring any of the little thoughts that are flitting in to your mind right now, casting them aside. Do not serve you in this moment. Remembering your breath, working solely on lengthening through the inhale and exhale, slowing it down. Inhale, drawing the feet in together, sweeping the arms up and overhead, extending all the way through from the toes to the fingertips, stretching through. Taking one deep, full breath as you inhale, pulling yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Keeping the eyes closed. Inhaling as you sweep your hands to heart centre. Arrowing the head to close today's class. Namaste.